Hey guys, welcome to the Sir Michael Singleton Show on YouTube. Make sure you follow the page, hit that notifications bell to get notifications for upcoming videos, and like and comment on this video. All of that will help the YouTube algorithm push the video up further so that more and more people can be aware of the great content that we're producing. So Joe Biden seems to be having a change of heart on immigration. The White House has sort of signaled that the president is considering Trump's family detention. You know, that same policy that Joe Biden criticized and said that it was unfair, unjust and un-American. Well, Biden is now having a change of heart more than two years into the administration. And this is a this is sort of a, a reality that the president realizes, like most of his predecessors from Trump to Obama to George W. Bush, all the way to Bill Clinton. We have a serious immigration problem in this country, and the president has to fix it, has to deal with it. We haven't figured this out yet. This idea that some people have that we can just let anyone into the United States, carte blanche, just doesn't make sense. Let's think about a few things here. We have a homelessness problem all across the United States of America right now that we're struggling to deal with in major cities across our country. We have a poverty problem that has existed for several decades in our country that we still need to deal with. We have a housing problem in our country that we're still struggling to deal with. Now, that's not to say that we should close our borders completely. That's not what I'm arguing here. But what I am saying is that immigration must occur in a structured process and in a process where it is in our best interest as a country. Oh, I want to read you guys a quote by former Congresswoman Barbara Jordan out of Texas, who was a Democrat, by the way. She said, quote, immigration is not a right guaranteed by the Constitution. It is a privilege granted by the people of the United States to those that we choose to admit and it should be administered when it's in our national interest. I would agree with that. I understand that everyone wants to come to the United States. It's a great country. We have a lot of freedoms, a lot of privileges that many people don't have in their own countries. But I want to put an idea out there. Maybe we should try to work with some of these countries south of the border to help them deal with the problems that their countries face. Maybe helping them fight crime, maybe helping them fight the drug cartels, maybe even helping to reform the broken and fractured government systems there would be far greater in the U.S. interest and also far beneficial to the people who live there. At some point, we're going to have to have serious reforms south of the border. We cannot continue to allow people to just come continuously. We have problems in the United States with people who were born in the United States that we have to deal with. And these problems become burdensome on our social welfare programs. And shouldn't Americans be first? Shouldn't we address the problems with people who were born here first? I think most of you would probably agree with that. But I also understand that people coming here are fleeing from things that many of us just can't even imagine. And we should permit some people to come to the United States, but we cannot permit everyone. It's just not possible. And so reforming the immigration system, while also, I believe, working with some of the countries that people are fleeing is the best answer to solving the immigration crisis that we're having in our country. President after president, Republicans and Democrats have tried for so long to deal with this problem. And guess what? No one has figured it out yet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at some point, we're going to have to. Otherwise, this will become too much of a strain on our system. And for many struggling Americans out there, you will see less and less money, less and less resources for the social programs that you may rely on. I don't think that's really fair. And again, it's not to say that we shouldn't be welcoming to those who are fleeing all types of persecution. We should. That's why we have the Statue of Liberty there in part. But we need to reform the process. We have to have a streamlined process. We have to be methodical about who we let in and how many people we let in because it has to be in our nation's best interest. But while we simultaneously do that, we know that people are going to continue to come because the places that they're fleeing have real problems. So it is in our best interest, I believe, as we figure out our system 
to work with those countries and demand reforms politically, help clean up the corruption, and help provide resources, perhaps even militarily if we have to, those countries to fight against the drug cartels so that people there can have the types of safe communities that they would absolutely have in the United States, which is why they're fleeing. I think we can do both of those things. It's in our interest as a country, and it's also in the interest of those countries where people are trying to escape. I'm sure Michael Singleton. Thanks so much for watching. Guys, make sure again you like this video, drop those comments, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to the page. It helps the algorithm. It helps us move up. I look forward to reading your comments. Take care.